Hey guys, so today we're going to be uh, doing an upgrade. So right now this home has this uh, N600 Wi-Fi cable modem and router, which is right here. And we're going to upgrade this to a better Wi-Fi by connecting um, a separate mesh router. And we're going to be using the Amplify HD home Wi-Fi here, which has like two antennas and the base unit. We're going to have to keep the modem uh, because this is an integrated modem and Wi-Fi, so we'll turn off the Wi-Fi on this, and then we'll run the Wi-Fi through this here, okay? So first, let's do a baseline test on the desktop here to see how fast it is. So here we can see, I'll hit go, that the speed on this, uh, this one's connected directly also, okay? We're getting about 70 megabits down. And then the up, I think, is around five or so. This is on a wired connection. And there's another desktop, which is connected via Wi-Fi. So we'll do a test there and see how that one is. So yeah, so it's about four megabits up. Okay, so now let's go test the other one that's in a different room. That's about 40, 30, 40 feet away from here. Let's go. Okay, so here we are connected to the 5G network and uh, on the Wi-Fi. And let's hit go and see what kind of speeds we get here. So we're getting about 66. So that's not bad if the base unit was getting a little bit over 70. And this is getting 64. That's pretty good. And now let's see what the upload speed is. It's about 20. So interestingly enough, this is giving a, a faster speed uploading than the one that's wired, connected directly to the wire, wired, which is odd. Um, all right, so now we'll try the kitchen and see how it compares. All right, so now here we'll test the Wi-Fi connection to the kitchen from a mobile device. I'm connected to the 5G network. It's giving me a speed of about 60 which is not bad. If the main device is giving me 70, this is giving me 60, a little more than 60. That's pretty good. So now the download speed is 65. And now let's see what the upload speed is. I'm probably about 70 feet away from the router in a different room here in the kitchen. It's giving me about 18, 19, 20 up. Interesting that the up is also higher. All right, so those are the numbers I have here. So now we're gonna to switch to the new device. All right, so here we have the device here. So let's open this up. Seems like the packaging is really nice. Pulls out here. Looks like this. Has the Unify Labs logo there. And looks like this. So it's pretty sleek looking. Here's the base unit, which has a digital display in the front. There's four ports in the back. Connection for the WAN there. USB connection and USB-C to plug it in. And the antennas look like this. So it has the plug with the ground and this can plug in directly. All right and there's two of them. And there's a USB-C plug. All right so let's switch them on. Right, so the first thing I have to do is go to the existing modem router and turn off router mode. That way it does not behave as a router. So I already did this, but basically hit N, sorry, not N, no. So you pry, you hit the radio button for no, and then you hit apply. And once you do that, it'll restart, and then you're left in the state that I'm in right now, which says basically that wireless is off. So once you do that, then the N600 is really just a router, and now I can plug in the new one that I'm ready to do. Okay, so now here's the modem that's acting only as a modem. I plug that in to the back of this. This white cable, which is the blue one, goes to the blue port there. And then everything else I have connected, the computer, the Vonage, and there's another connection for some cameras. 
I'll go to this guy here. So now it's booting for the first time. And then I installed the app on the phone. And I can, oh, it makes it made a noise. Saying go get the app. And here it shows you that here's the Amplify app. So now I'm gonna go through the process of just following the steps that it tells me here. So let's do that. So they have a little wizard, it tells you exactly what to do. Turn off the the modem from the provider, which I did already, then do all my connections, which I already did also, and then um, connect power cable, which I did already, and then power everything on. So let me power everything on. So now that it's connected, I'm gonna test the uh, this machine, which is the one that's directly connected to the router, and see what kind of speeds we're getting now. So we'll hit go. I did figure out why the desktop that was directly connected, the upload speed was so slow. Uh, the way this was set up basically, it was that this machine was connected to a Vonage little hub, and then from there it was going directly to the, to the uh, router. So now you can see what a huge difference it makes here. Uh, the problem was that this modem router that was connected only had two ports, so it had to be connected to the Vonage to get an additional port. But now you can see that since this new device has four ports, I can connect it directly to the router and I'm getting uh, an awesome speed in comparison, right? Uh, for the download 244 and 23.61, that's connected directly. And now we're gonna try the other devices and see how those look. But first I have to connect the antenna, so let's go do that. Here's one of the antennas here. Uh, now this model, I saw some of them have like a little magnet here so that this piece comes off. This seems to be a more simple model that doesn't have those options. I will plug this in directly to the wall here, right there. So the nice thing is I plug that in and this can still be plugged in. So it gives you enough space to do that. And I think these are all, they just are automatically configured. So once you plug it in, in a few seconds, you shouldn't have to do anything else. Uh, but the one thing it doesn't give you is you can't really rotate these or do anything interesting with them. So they're just going straight up. So now the antenna is done. You can see that it has all the blue, li blue lights on them. So it should be ready to go. There it shows you it has a strong connection. Now we're going to go here and we'll go to speed test and we'll test it here to see what kind of speeds we get now. Before we were getting 65 megabits down. So let's see what kind of speed we get now. All right, so yeah, clearly faster. We're getting what, 188 down. <clears throat> and now let's see what the upload speed is. Uh, we're getting about 28.3. So clearly both are faster, more significant. The download speed has gone from 65 to 188. All right, and now we're gonna test the phone connection uh, from the kitchen. Put the third antenna right over here on the edge of the house, uh, farthest point from, I guess, the router in the house. And now we'll do the test here and see what kind of test we got. So starting it out and we're getting a speed of uh, okay, so we're about a hundred or so. Um, yeah, roughly a hundred down. So that also went up before I think we were getting in the 60s, like low 60s here. So clearly we have a better connection now in the kitchen um, than we did before. Okay, so then we'll test this for a couple weeks. This uh, bought it this at Best Buy, so they got a 14 day return policy. So if it works better, and it seems like it's more stable, then we'll keep this one for this house here. But that gives you an idea on how to quick connect it. It's really simple, really quick. It's all mobile based. Uh, the app, it, it has a lot more features on the phone than it does if you do it um, from the desktop. So that's one thing you should consider. But if you don't mind that, then it's pretty easy to set up. It really only took a few minutes to get this going. Okay, hope you like these videos. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.